Hey folks, welcome back to Indaba After. This is Chris. Shamefully South African. Endlessly using race to divide a society and destroy an economy. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Wow. Well, it takes a little time to uh, digest the lunacy, stupidity, and racism and bigotry that comes out of South Africa's ruling African National Congress and its president, the um, overhyped yet not particularly successful former businessman, Cyril Ramaphosa. What am I talking about? Well, let's fade back the clock a little bit to 2020, when the government came out with a plan for a tourism relief fund. That's right. This tourism relief fund was set up last year, uh, right as the lockdown began early in the year, uh, in late March, early April. And when they did this, uh, the Ministry for Tourism or, or Small Government, one of these departments uh, had, uh, they're not ministries, called Department of South Africa, but one of the departments uh, posted the application on how you apply for these grants. And right there on the very beginning, it said that only black South Africans could get the, the Tourism Relief Fund money, which is fascinating since they at one time indicated it was going to come from private donations as well as government funding. Wherever the money came from, I don't know in the end. South Africa's government is far from transparent these days. But the bottom line is this, is that when it came out, people went desperately, because tourism is such a big part of South Africa's economy, that people went desperately looking to download to get some relief because the government shut down their businesses, it denied them customers, it prevented people from traveling to their venues, using their lodges, their restaurants, their tours, and so on. And so they had no revenue coming in. So many, many thousands of folks went immediately to the site to download the form to get the relief, only to discover that the form said a black only. When people cried foul and went to the press, that minister had the <laughs> temerity to go and make a press statement and call it fake news, that people were spreading lies and rumors that was nothing to do with race, that anybody would qualify for it. When they were caught red-handed, they lied. How do I know they lied? <laughs> because people downloaded the form. No one made up this form. This form came from that department. It was posted on their website. It was intentional. Yet they were embarrassed by their racism. And they should be embarrassed by the racism. So what happened? Brouhaha. Fake news. It wasn't fake news. It was true. And what happened? The Tourism Relief Fund went forward and people got 200 million rand of relief from this fund. That's right, folks. 200 million rand. 4,000 businesses, and uh, look at this, this is the summary as of August of last year, in South Africa, in the Eastern Cape, 457 beneficiaries, Free State 134, Hauteng 1,017, KwaZulu-Natal 607, Limpopo 294, Pumalanga 238, Northwest 162, Northern Cape 124, and the Western Cape 967. And it says, as a government, we remain committed to working with all stakeholders in whatever way we can, as we understand these extremely difficult times for the sector and the situation demands that we work together to weather the storm. Only you're not working together. You're working against the majority of the industry. One of your whining complaints is that the industry is primarily controlled by <gasps> minorities. Uh, for folks that don't understand, that means white uh, and brown people, not black people. And so uh, how are you working together with stakeholders when you're excluding the majority of people from the program? Uh, once again, this, of course, is this announcement in August is from the Minister of Tourism, Mamamolokoko Kubaya Gubani. Yeah, she uh, made this statement back then. Now, this is crazy, but they got away with it. $200 million, only advantaging. Um, now, this, this tourism relief fund should have been designated for small operators. That would have been reasonable. Anybody under a certain threshold of revenue could qualify for the grant because it was grant money. It wasn't a loan. Yeah, so why not? But no, uh, ANC had to make this program based on your skin color. So let's roll forward after this debacle last year in which the racism of the ANC was entrenched in South African society. Oh, let's stop, 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 stop right there. Stop. I don't want to hear about apartheid. I don't want to hear about historically disadvantaged. Stop your nonsense. It's been 27 years in April. 27 years. 27 years. I know that's a little hard for leftists and supremacist on one side of the aisle to digest, but 27 years. I can't blame Jesus for my faults today. He died 2,000 years ago. I don't blame the Romans for corrupting my language, <laughs> or enhancing my language, if you want to say that. That was a long time ago. You have a responsibility to take responsibility for your actions, ANC. The majority of people in South Africa today were born after apartheid ended. 
continuing to divide people by race and ethnicity is shameful, vile, disgusting, and it's racist. Stop it. So in announcing uh, a new 1.2 billion rand tourism equity fund, equity fund, I should say, equity, equity, I call it inequity fund, the tourism equity fund, uh, President Ron Pose on the 26th, as I said, it took me a couple of days to digest this, uh, announced that uh, $1.2 billion would be set aside for the Department of Tourism's equity fund. Yeah, exactly. Um, so hang on a second. Um, so the Department of Tourism in South Africa, their job isn't like it is in every other country that has one of these departments to promote tourism, to advertise your country abroad, to hold fairs abroad, to make things on a website so that people can find about your country and want to come to your country. That's not the purpose of the Department of Tourism. It's actually to bankroll businesses and new ones at that. Well, that's fascinating. So where is this money coming from, folks? Well, the Department of Tourism will provide 594 million rand, but we don't have any money to buy farmland for poor black South Africans. Hmm. Um, and we don't have any money to take care of immunizations for COVID-19 because we got to blame the West and claim racism because we didn't plan ahead in the ANC or work with any pharmaceutical companies developing vaccinations or actually set aside any of the $5.6 billion at the time, change rate, 90 billion rand, the entire program to immunize the entire pop, well, to reach herd immunity in South Africa will cost 20 billion rand according to their own government. In July and August of 2020, the African Development Bank gave $285 million loan. The New Development Bank, also known as the BRICS Bank, gave $1 billion dollars and the IMF gave South Africa $4.3 billion at 1.1% interest rate. So basically a grant. After inflation, you pay back less than you borrow. Hmm. Hmm. So $5.6 billion, 90 billion rand, four and a half times the amount of money needed to immunize the entire country for herd immunity. Yet now they're crying racism. And they're taking money they don't have. Where's this coming from? So the Department of Tourism, 594 million rand, uh, the CIF of the Small Enterprise Financing Agreement uh, uh, assess, or set up uh, 120 million rand, as well as commercial banks kicking in another 594 million rand, dispersed over several years. Now, no doubt help is needed in the tourism sector, folks. Don't get me wrong. Tourism in South Africa is critically important to its economy. Uh, it's world class in many respects, and um, it's something you should do if you get a chance. Go to South Africa and participate in tourism if this COVID um, political scam ever ends, then people will be able to travel again. But tourism is really important. It contributes nearly 9% of South Africa's GDP. That's 8.6%. Uh, and over 600,000 people directly employed in the sector with well over a million plus who indirectly support the sector and in ancillary industries. And uh, there you have it. So massive impact on the economy. Yeah. So, hmm. <laughs> so who's the money for? Well, let's 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 hear him in his own words. Cyril Ramaphosa, folks. Cyril Ramaphosa. Um, he says that this is aligned with the national tourism sector strategy of 2016 to 2026. So halfway through the strategy, now we're going to come up with new funds. Um, why wasn't this budgeted for, allocated, and planned previously? See, they're just full of it. They just make this stuff up as they go. This is what Ramaphosa had to say. The Tourism Equity Fund is informed by the recognition that the capital-intensive nature of the industry prevents many black-owned tourism enterprises from growing and developing. Hmm. By providing access to finance for black-owned commercially viable tourism projects, the Tourism Equity Fund intends to address this challenge. Why is that a challenge? So only certain people are allowed to be business owners? As a combination of grant funding, concessionary loans, and debt finance, the fund will, ah, debt finance. The fund will cater to the specific needs of black-owned businesses to acquire equity, invest in new developments, or expand existing developments. So once again, invest in new developments, that means that this is creating new business owners in a sector so that they can compete with existing businesses. Okay, got it. Right, okay. He said it's a partnership between a government, public entities, and commercial banks, as we just discussed, and it's the kind of collaboration that's required as a country to forge a path towards sustainable economic recovery. No, this is not going to forge a path to sustainable economic recovery. You're burying yourself in debt further yet again for this political objective. This isn't economic. This is politics. He said, we are committed to ensuring that this fund enables black business to substantially benefit from the tourism economy. Well, that I agree with, that you're doing it. Not to be roped in by fronting companies Ooh, so there's some sort of fraud in the financing realm. Maybe you should take a look at that. 
or to be marginal bystanders and small-scale suppliers to larger tourism enterprises. Ah, I see. Whether it is in a coastal town in the Eastern Cape or wildlife-rich areas in the Northwest, it is our aim through this fund to support black-owned businesses to rent profitable and sustainable enterprises, to employ local people, to procure goods and services locally, and to make a real contribution to our economy. Let's see. Um, Minority-owned businesses by Indians and coloreds and whites, let's see, what do they do? They, um, many of them are profitable and sustainable. They employ oodles of local people. Most of those 600,000 people are actually black folks. Um, they produce local goods and services, and they make a real contribution to the economy, 8.6%. So the only thing that this does is it, it, it's, it's for black folks, black folks only. Ni blankies, ni blankies, only black folks. Wow. So as Ramaphosa said, this is for disadvantaged operators, but it's not. It's not. Not at all. The government's travel bans, curfews, and venue capacity limitations, as well as alcohol bans, have destroyed South Africa's tourism industry. It's absolutely eviscerated the tourism industry. Travel bans, curfews, venue capacity limitations, and alcohol bans have had a devastating impact on the economy. Never mind people's fear of COVID-19, real or otherwise, or the fact that international travel has been greatly disrupted. On top of that, the government threw all these other things, which crippled this industry. Disadvantaged? I would argue that all South African tourism businesses have been disadvantaged by the National Coronavirus Command Council's idiotic and stupid, unscientific travel bans, curfews, venue capacity limitations, and alcohol bans. Hmm. Yeah, no, this is only for black South Africans. How is that right? Can you imagine a program only for white South Africans? Seriously, seriously. Well, let's see what they say. So why bother paying taxes, folks? If you're paying taxes, the government is using for this so that someone can compete against you when your business is being destroyed. The very government that sets policies in place that destroys your business takes your tax revenue that you've paid into it to give to a group of people based on skin pigmentation so they can compete with you and drive you out of business. What the kind of nonsense is that? What kind of world is this? This is absolute insanity, ladies and gentlemen. Absolute insanity. So let's talk a little bit about who can apply for the assist assistance. We've already talked about the fact you must be black. So the purpose is it will provide uh, financial assistance for acquiring controlling equity in the tourism sector. Funding assets or work capital. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So it's not for just existing owners to expand or save their business. It's for new entrants. Hmm. Okay, um, it takes into account the level, in order to get the money, it takes into account the level of black management control, women ownership, hmm, youth ownership, jobs facilitated, and location of the operation. So do you get more points if you're inexperienced and have no idea what the hell you're doing because you're 19 or 20 years old, you'll get the money automatically? <laughs> this is... It's utter insanity, ladies and gentlemen. Utter insanity. Ampl applicants who operate or who are looking to start hotels, start hotels, lodges, resorts, self-catering units, backpacker facilities, conference and convention venues, or as tour operators may apply for the TEF, the Tourism Equity Fund. Yeah, so what about uh, booking agents, transportation companies, shopkeepers who sell tchotchkes and curios and things like that, wood carvers? Do they not qualify? That's all part of the tourism industry, too. No, apparently they don't. Even if they're black, they don't qualify, according to this. Wow. It must be registered as a, in terms of South Africa Companies Act of 1973. Oh, that's the apartheid era. Why is that still a law? Because there's nothing wrong with the law. 100% uh, owned by South African. That's reasonable. And predominantly black owner managed and controlled 51%. 51% must be black owned. Folks, uh, this is insanity. So those who apply for this fund can get between 20 or 10 and 20 million rand. If you apply and your, your, your request is less than 10 million rand, your application will be rejected and directed to another department. So you must apply for between 10 and 20 million rand. So it's a very set amount of money. That's not a lot of money to start a business, 20 million rand. No. It's 15 to 1 exchange rate, so 15 million rand is $1 million. That's not a lot of money. It takes a lot more equity than that to start a lodge, to build a hotel, to purchase land. So really questionable about what's going on here, especially since you're excluding the really small operators. So most of the people who will be able to take advantage of this will be black South Africans. Nobody else, ni blankies, no coloreds, no Indians. 
black South Africans who already have an existing business. So this seems to me more like a program to funnel money to existing operators to drive others out of business. By the way, folks, two out of th every three jobs in the tourism sector that are in companies owned by minority South Africans, their employees, two out of three, two thirds of the, of the number of workers are black South Africans. That's why I railed so hardly against the tourism relief fund last year when it denied money to those in the tourism sector who were not black. Making a decision, a business decision based on someone's skin pigmentation is vile. It's reprehensible. Wow, I thought we left this behind in 1994. What happened to the Rainbow Nation? Uh, no, stop, stop, stop. Uh, oh, people advantage, stop. Yeah, the half a million people living in squatter camps whose pigmentation isn't dark enough for you aren't profiting from the tourism industry. They're barely surviving. Stop it. Skin pigmentation doesn't determine success. Talent, skills, and the government getting the hell out of the way, as well as drive, determine success. This is yet another attempt to funnel money to people and um, only based on their appearance. Well, that's disgraceful. Shamefully South African, South Africa's Tourism Inequality Fund. Well, folks, there you have it. If you're not a subscriber to Chris White Africa, why not become one? Smash that button right down there. Be sure to toggle the bell icon to get notified of updates. And please give us a like. Likes drive viewership. And the world needs to know that the ANC's blatant, naked, open, unapologetic racism needs to be exposed. Look, we went to great lengths to do the same thing to the National Party's policies. Why should we not do it to the ANC? Turnabout is fair play. If you're racist, you should be exposed. This racial preference system is systemic racism. And there you have it, folks. 27 years. Plenty of time. Why did you waste it?